Coming up on South Coast Spotlight, check out an uncommon sight in Santa Barbara's Harbor. See how our annual fiesta event brings more to the community than good food and dance. And get a tour of Santa Barbara by a group in tune with all the best sights. Hi everyone, welcome to South Coast Spotlight. I'm Matt Schuster. And I'm Dominique Samario. In this program, we'll take you around the South Coast to explore what brings our community to life. Although Santa Barbara's Harbor always has unique boats on display, this fall you may have caught a very special sighting, a 500 foot long Navy warship. In our first story, we'll see how its stop brought some special visitors to the South Coast. We are pleased to have here to our beautiful city, the USS Halsey a uh, guided missile uh, destroyer, about 510 feet long, uh, some 240 people on board, and uh, we've already had a terrific time with a number of the sailors. These folks uh, get deployed for six months or more at a time, other end of the world, we all know what they're doing on our behalf, and it's a chance for us to really uh, show our appreciation. had a terrific time with a number of the sailors. We had a couple of delightful young ladies who actually spent the evening at our house with my wife and my daughter just last night. And uh, tonight there'll be some more folks in town and they'll be all over State Street. So I hope the Santa Barbara is going to do a great job of uh, welcoming the sailors and uh, showing them our great hospitality here. I'm from Heber Heights, Ohio. Um, I've been in the Navy 24 years and we're here celebrating Fleet Week with Santa Barbara with the USS Halsey. A lot of people don't get to uh, come out and see what the Navy does and take a tour on our ship and uh, see the impact that we make on our country and in the United States. So uh, we come around and visit and uh, show impact of what your tax dollars are paying for and uh, what the Navy's all about. Very important indeed. Uh, it obviously brings revenue to the city that uh, we certainly need and to the waterfront here. Uh, the Navy is uh, quite generous in how they, uh, they uh, support the uh, communities that they come to. But frankly, it's even more broadly than that. It's a really a terrific thing from uh, simply supporting the troops. And when you see somebody uh, in uniform, please uh, shake their hand, thank them for their service. Uh, a couple of these kids wouldn't mind when they're over 21 to have a beer bought for them. That's a nice thing to do. But uh, they'll be uh, tonight, Saturday night, kind of be their big liberty night. There'll be at least a third of the crew on shore, and I suspect Lower State Street's going to see a good number of them. Thank you very much for inviting us down here. It's uh just breathtaking to come down for a few days and uh, get underway on the ship and be in a be beautiful place like this. So thank you very much for inviting us. Santa Barbara hosts many great events throughout the year, but one stands out from the rest, Fiesta. And while Old Spanish Days makes for a fabulous excuse to wear festive clothes and enjoy good food and dance, for local nonprofits, this annual event means much, much more.
there's nothing better than our Ley Guadalupe because it's family, it's all family oriented. Every year this is our best fundraiser. This is the only fundraiser that we actually have. It all goes back to the church. Um, we actually just got our church rebuilt, so that was most definitely one of our goals. Yeah. And then we're fixing a lot of you know, other things. Uh, we have confirmation, First Holy Communions, and all that money goes towards that. This is actually a, a huge party with a bunch of authentic food, made with a lot of love, dancing, you know, music, uh, a lot of food, a lot, a lot of food. Especially here at Our Lady of Guadalupe, it's all about family. And getting the community together, the ladies, the parishioners, they come together day by day, work as hard as they can, hands on. It's, it's, it's amazing, it's amazing. You, you can't find anything else like this. It's all family. It's a lot different than if you go down downtown. This is most definitely all family feel. Um, we ask people to come on in, check it out. Um, I'll even watch people's dogs if they want me to. Because <laughs> we can't have dogs inside, but we want to make sure the parishioners have a time, you know, or visitors come in and enjoy it themselves. All ages, absolutely. I, we have kids here that have been here for 15 years, 16 years. I mean, we've seen them from two all the way to 15 years old now. And it's a wonderful feeling because it's all the same people. More people come from out of town, out of state. Anything for the food here. Well, I'm not going to lie. It's a sopas. Sopas are the fav my favorite, but we have um, sopas, tamales. We have um, pozole. Pozole is awesome. I mean, it's really good. Uh, taquitos, birria. Oh man, snow cones, we have churros. It's a really good food, and that's what people come for is the food. We absolutely love the tamales, the pork tamales. Uh, they're just fantastic, and the salsa that they make is unbelievable. So. But you can eat them. We've been here twice already today, my wife and I. This is the second time. We are here earlier today to watch our uh, lovely eight-year-old granddaughter dance in the fiesta, and we came back again tonight because my wife said we just had to come back. We, if they were so good, we couldn't get enough. We're buying a dozen, we're taking a dozen home with us. Yeah, you just can't beat the food here. It is absolutely fantastic. Uh, a lot of native people come here, the neighborhood. It's a really good place. It's for the people here that live here. You know, this is a, a well-kept secret, but you can tell by the crowd, there's a lot of people that know the secret. It's good for the people to go to the church and use the church facility here and the neighborhood and stuff, and they do a fantastic job. So, so by all means, I'd have no issue whatsoever that the money most of, I hope most of it gets back to the church by all means and helps them out and I know a lot of people put in a lot of time and effort to make this happen and work and a lot of volunteers make this happen so it's great for the community I'm a native of Santa Barbara so you know I've seen a lot of them and haven't done so much but now that my granddaughter's involved it's really pulled us out and then you see how much fun everybody's having and what fun it is for the community and you know it's, it's a good thing for the community they get a lot of tourists too as well but that's good for the rest of the town and, you know, but I enjoy this venue more than anything, really. And if they want to have some fantastic, great food and find a lot of nice people, enjoyable people, families, you know, people that live here in the community, by all means, come down here and enjoy the food and the people.
by Delia and Carla for over 25 years. This is their fourth year participating in this Fiesta Parade. And they're going to perform for us. Besides getting together to have fun as a group, members of the chapter, the money that we raise in the donation box and in the proceeds for the sales of foods and drinks go to operate the chapter, but essentially to fund scholarships for young people and who need the money. And the preference in this from that we give to the Santa Barbara Scholarship Foundation is that the priority should go to children of veterans first. I'm having a pulled pork sandwich and some fries and some really good lemonade from the veterans booth and it's just awesome. The booths and the El Mercados, this one in Del Norte, go to support the local nonprofits. It's for most of them, for us specifically, it's the major fundraiser for the year. That's why I specifically came today to the veterans booth. Today we had a really neat experience just sitting here talking and a fellow put money in the box and I explained to him that's where the money goes and he says well I know that because I was the beneficiary of of the money out of that money that we got from the chapter. 
He graduated with an English degree and he has a job locally with a company. I think it really adds so much to the community and the, and the spirit of everyone being here that they realize that it does go to help the nonprofits in the area and they really do need our support, all of them. Thank you. And how long have you been dancing? Oh, I've been dancing for about 20 years now. 20 I've been That's dancing since, since I was about four or five years old. Wow. And what's your name? My name is Lupe. Lupe. How long have you been dancing I've for? I've been dancing for about four years. Wow, so you guys are all so very we're all, experienced. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> Do you, do you still feel nervous? You're about to go perform in front of lots of people, or is it just excitement? <laughs> it's excitement. It's a little of both, um, just part of the show, uh, mm -hmm. being excited mm -hmm. for every show that we do. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Annabelle. Annabelle, what's your favorite part of dancing? Favorite part is just watching the audience, and they're really getting into it, and they just help us bring out the spirit of the dance. All right. Have you um, come and danced at Fiesta before? Yes. All right, so this is a tradition. You keep coming back, keep dancing here. It's a yes. great audience. How about you? What's your name? My name is Yvonne. Any thoughts you'd like to say about dancing? Um, don't. I just I love it and um, makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. I've been dancing 33 years now. Wow. And I've been coming every year since I started. And I love it just the way I did when I first started. It's so fun and everybody's spirit and gets us all into it. And it's like, mm -hmm. we wait all year for it. And <laughs> in LA, we're like, ready for Santa Barbara. <laughs> all right, all right. You are? I'm John Estrada, the John uh, director Estrada? of nice the group of Folklorico West Los Angeles. You're the director? All yeah, right. so I'm in how, charge. How do you feel being here? Oh, uh, It's always a beautiful living experience, celebrating the, the fiestas with the uh, community uh, of Santa right. Barbara. Impressive. And how hard would you say it is? I don't think it's that really hard because I love dancing a lot. Really? Really? I don't, I don't think I'd be up for it. <laughs> hey, what's, what's your name? I'm Natalie. I'm Natalie. Hi. Hi. Wow, you look lovely. This is an awesome Thank dress. you. Oh, Thank you. Oh, my God. Shot. Oh, you guys are going to have to go. Any, any last words before you go? Um, just, just happy that we were able to come here again. We love being here. It's such a great city. And all the being a community, all the dancers being together, just just love having being fun. here with my family, basically, and right. having fun here. Viva la fiesta! This is our 88th annual anniversary. Uh, it started back in 1924, and uh, this is my 26th year competing, and my second year as the chairman of the rodeo. And uh, we've we've got the stands packed. Uh, the atmosphere is great, and uh, the weather's wonderful. So we're just happy to be here. During the day, uh, it's a tri-county event, so we're uh, from Ventura County, Santa Barbara County, San Luis Obispo County, uh, our competitors here locally, and then uh, at night we have a professional rodeo, so we've got people from all over the world, all over the nation here to compete, so uh, it's exciting.
what we did was pretty much just have confidence in our horses and just try to like get the cows to get the what we wanted to go. And my great grandpa told me before he died that if you watch the way that the ears of the cows are going, that's just the way they're gonna go. My cousin won the PBR two times and so he told me to win it this time. We've been coming up here to Fiesta for about 17 years now. Rodeo is important for a city like Santa Barbara because it can expose the, the city to new um, commerce. You have all of the tourist trade coming in. Fiesta is definitely the highlight of our year. We uh, are actually stationed down in San Diego, so we do a lot of local rodeos around there, as well as coming up here. It's the holiday season and chances are many of you have heard selections from Handel's Messiah, but we're guessing you've never seen it performed quite like this. While I go check out some of First Thursday, why don't you take a look at the Santa Barbara Choral Society's local spin on this classic piece.
Thanks for watching South Coast Spotlight. Be sure to continue to join us for a look at the arts, culture, and community that make up the South Coast. If you have ideas for future stories, email us at info at tvsb .tv. And remember, TVSB Culture is your source for programming that is well done and a tad rare. On behalf of all of us at TV Santa Barbara, we'd like to wish you a safe and happy holiday season. We leave you today with a look at Santa Barbara during the holidays.